Now, the first step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So you can select your graphic card over here. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here. And then select the right operating system over here and then click on fine. And then on this page, you will see the latest graphic card driver at the top here. You can see 581.29 GeForce Game Ready Driver. Whichever is the latest, click on view and then click on download. Once the download is complete, you can run this exe file and then you will see the screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option and then click on next and then Put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. After the clean installation, restart your computer. You have to restart your computer and then you can launch the game. Next step is to PC with dual graphic card. Disable the integrated graphic card and you can enable it once you're done playing the game. So make a right click on the game, select prop, uh, make a right click on the start menu and then go to device manager. So in my case over here, uh, you will see under display adapter, I have dual graphic card. One is Intel, other is Nvidia. So you can disable the integrated one, make a right click and then click on disable device. And now you can launch the game and then check. Once you are done playing the game, you you can enable this and uh, card. Now the next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. Now for this, you can go to, if you have the game on Steam, I don't have the game on Steam. If you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, go to properties and then go to install file stack. In my case, I'll show you a different game. Go to properties, select install files tab. Uh, sorry, go to the general tab. Over here, you can type in dash DX11 and then you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even try dash DX12, launch the game and then check. Still not working, remove this. If you have the game on EA app, you can go to EA app, click on manage, click on view properties. In the launch option, type in dash DX11. Now you can save. Launch the game and then check, still not working. Type in dash DX12, save it, launch the game and then check. Still not working, remove this, save it and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to switch to window mode and lock the FPS at 60 and lower down graphic settings. Now for this, if you are able to launch the game, you can launch the game first. Now, once you launch the game, you can go to settings over here and then click on settings. Now you can go to game settings. Now over here you can go to display. And over here, if the game is set to full screen, uh, you can you can set the refresh rate to 60 hertz. And if the VSync is off, uh, you can limit the FPS at 60. And then apply the changes. And now you can confirm and then you can check. Still not working, you can even try window mode over here. Go for window mode and then apply the settings and then confirm and now you can check. You can even go to graphics over here. And if the graphics preset is set to ultra, you can set it to high. You can even go for medium or low. So I will just set it at medium, apply the changes and then you can check the performance. Now, the next step is to lower down monitor refresh rate to like if you if you can be if your monitor has a refresh rate of 240 hertz, this is just an example. You can set it to 120 or 60 hertz. You can even go to Windows settings and go to display system and then go to display. Scroll down, go to advanced display and over here you can select 60 hertz and then launch the game and then check. Next step is to try debug mode in NVIDIA control panel. So you can go to desktop show more option, make a right click show more option and then click on NVIDIA control panel. Once it is open, now you can go to help option over here and then select debug mode. Once debug mode is checked, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, try power saver mode. Now for this, you can type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Go to hardware and sound and then go to power options over here. And over here, in my case, I have only balanced. In your case, if you see power saver, you can select power saver and then launch the game. You can even go for balanced, but first of all, try power saver and then launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to 
turn on or turn off hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now for this, type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings. And then go to advanced graphic settings over here. If hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, if this is off, turn it on, launch the game and then you can check still not working. Then if this, if this is already on, you can turn it off, relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to try launching the game from NVIDIA app. So you can open NVIDIA app and you can go to graphics over here. First of all, you can go to home and then try to launch the game from here. So click on play and then check. If that does not work, you can go to settings. And over here, if you see optimize option, hit optimize. And then you can relaunch the game and then check. If it is already optimized, you can revert the changes and then you can check. Next step is to restore settings in NVIDIA control panel. So go to NVIDIA control panel once again, and you can go to global settings. Over here, you can see restore option. Hit restore, click on yes to allow. And then at the bottom right, click on apply option. And once the apply is done, now you can relaunch the game and then check it. Next, we should repair or verify the game files on eApp, Steam or Epic Games Launcher. Now, if you have the game on eApp, you can click on it, click on manage, then click on repair and then check. If you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, go to properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrative game files. And then you can check. Next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website uh, you can just type in install visual c++ file in google search and go to microsoft website here you can see visual studio files you have to download this x86 and x64 so click on it and then run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install and let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Once both are installed, you have to restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to rename FC setup settings folder. When you do so, all the saved settings will be lost. In that case, open file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data folder. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, and then put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder, open the local folder. And over here you can see ES Sports FC 26, open this folder. And over here you can see FC setup. You can make a right click and then you can rename it. Sorry. Rename this folder. And then you can rename this settings folder. And then you can rename this FC setup folder. And then you can relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. In that case, you can rename this complete uh, game folder. And when you do so, all the saved set, all the save game progress will be lost. You will lose all the save game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So if you agree, uh, you can do so and create a backup first. So you can copy the complete EA Sports FC 26 and then you can paste it to the desktop. Uh, once you have a backup created, now you can rename it. Make a right click and then you can rename it. Once you rename it, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to enable or disable the Steam overlay. Now for, if you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game and then select properties. Turn off the option, enable the Steam overlay while you game. If this is on, turn it off. If this is already off, then you can turn it on. So try off and on and check which one is working fine for you. If you have any other overlay application running like Discord running or uh, NVIDIA app running, you can go to a Discord settings or NVIDIA app settings and then you can turn off overlay over here. Turn off NVIDIA overlay and then close NVIDIA app and then launch the game. Next is to run the game from the dedicate, uh, on the dedicated graphic card now. For this, type in graphic settings in Windows search box, click on graphic settings, and then click on add desktop app. Go to the game installation folder. If you have the game on Steam, you can go to this location. Wherever the game is installed, go to the game installation folder. I have the game from eApp, so open the game folder, select the game exe file, and then click on add. Once the game is added over here, find the game and then click on the game. And over here, select high performance. You will see your graphic card now launch the game. 
Next step is to connect the display cable or HDMI cable to the desktop users. Connect the display or HDMI cable to the dedicated graphic card slot and then check. Now, next step is to install media feature pack if you're, if you're using Win N version of Windows. Like uh, it may be Windows 10 N or Windows 11 N, N edition. In that case, you can update media feature pack. So you can go to this link. You can follow the steps and find uh, how, and check how to install media feature pack. You can even go to this link. The link is provided in the video description. Windows 10 users can go to this link and then you can uh, install media feature pack as per your version over here. And the next step is to turn Windows feature on or off. So you can type in turn Windows feature on or off and then click on it. And over here, if you see media feature pack over here, put a check on media feature pack and then uh, once it is installed, restart it and then launch the game. You can open Windows settings, go to apps and then you can go to install apps. Sorry, go to system and then you can scroll down, click on optional features over here and then click on view feature or add a feature. Click on yes to allow, type in media feature pack. In, I have Windows 11 home, so I don't see it. If you have Windows 11 in addition, when you type in media feature pack, you will see it. You can put a check and then install it and then restart your computer and then launch the game. If you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Big Defender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, Windows security, and then to a virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder and then open select select all these exe files. Click on open again. Click on add an allowed app, browse all apps. Select this FC26, add it, and then this one also. And then trial one. Now add an allowed app, browser app, open installer, e anti cheat, select this folder. Now select this file and then type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Go to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings at the top. Click on allow another app to browse. Again, go to the game installation folder and then select all the exe file one by one select everything add it and then you can check in my case it is already added now you can launch the game and then check next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this you can go to the game installation folder and then make a right click on the game and then click on uh, you can go to properties and then go to this tab Put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. You can even try Windows 8 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. You can even go for F, uh, Windows 7, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. You can even try disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. Now when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, in that case you can uncheck these boxes. Hit apply, click on OK. You can even try to launch this EA anti-cheat game service launcher run as administrator and then check. Next step is to roll back graphics card driver. So if the latest graphic card driver is not working, uh, when you select your graphic card, your operating system on this page, you can scroll down and then click on view more versions. And then you can try maybe the older version 581.15 or 581.08. But when you go for installation, Make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then restart your computer. After the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to increase the virtual memory. To increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here. And then under advanced, click on settings, the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here. You have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed. Make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size. And we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total RAM for maximum is 3 multiplied total RAM. So you can check total RAM in Windows settings, go to system and then go to about option. And over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes. So you have to calculate as per your RAM. And if you face any problem, we can always revert back to the settings. So do not worry about it. So for in my case, it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024. That is total total RAM in megabyte 
for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total ram that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 megabyte then 3 times multiplied 3 that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that it hits set and then click on okay and then okay okay now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in we advanced system settings again and then click on we advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on okay click on okay over here hit apply click on okay okay you will see restart option restart you can be and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advance change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on okay follow the next step now the next step is to close obs so if you have obs running uh, you can just make a right click on obs over here and then click on exit unplug razer tartarus disconnect key crown or razer huntsman keyboard connected disconnected disable daemon tool so if you have daemon tool running like make a right click go to start menu uh, make a right click on the start menu go to task manager over here and if you find daemon tools running over here if you have it running over here make a right click and then click on end task and then make a right click on the start menu go to device manager and if you have this under storage control if you have daemon tools make a right click disable device in my case it is already under universal serial bus controller if you find it make a right click and disable it in my case it's already disabled when when you need it you can enable it and then you can use daemon tool now if you have any uh, third party application uh, like rewsd ds4 windows auto hotkey eraser synapse cl close razor software corsair icu C U E face it anti cheat either mouse Logitech disable uh, this you can close it in the task manager and if you find it in the device manager you can disable it disable X V D D S C S I mini port if you find it in the device manager close it Corsair bus if you find it in device manager make a right click disable it you can even uninstall these application close all the third party application like VLC codec wallpaper engine msi app so if you have any kind of codec software running close it or you can even uninstall it and then make sure that you end the service from the task manager perform clean boot now for this type in system configuration in windows search box click on system configuration go to the services tab put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on disable all hit apply click on okay you will see a restart option restart you can get and then you can launch the game now the next step is to disable if you have this zepret crypto pro punk buster uh, software running uh, then close it and then uninstall this application if you have goodbye dpi app uninstall it if you have drop top rain meter any kind of uh, like if you have these application running close it if you have any keyboard mouse software like ic ue you can uninstall it 3x software support app close it game companion companion running close it if you have menu.exe in task manager running you can make a right click and then click on end task if you have any kind of wipe port or wipes we are software running close it now next step is to unplug all the external devices so if you have otas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter which you are not using disconnect it disconnect extra controller connected to the computer uninstall vpn disable overlay close all the overlay application set if you do not overclock if you have overclocked you can be set it to default close all the overclocking application like msi afterburner reward unit disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you are undervolted you can be remove the undervolt and then check low down monitor refresh rate which we have already discussed now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working you can just uninstall the game after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart the computer and then you can install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to like d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check 
So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.